Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Taylor Danielle and today I have a video where I'm doing a would you rather with my mama here. Hello. So I have about 11 questions that I'm gonna ask and we're both gonna answer the questions. Okay. Why, why, is, she, why is she doing this? <laughs> okay, question number one. Would you rather ask for help or figure it out yourself? Half and half. No, you can't, no, 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 no. That's not how this works. <laughs> you, it's would you rather, you have to pick one. There are no 50-50. <clears throat> I would rather, I'm gonna say ask for help. Cause you can save a lot of time by just asking for help. I would ask for help. Too. You know? Okay, all right, so your answer I'll is ask for help. Okay. Would you rather be married to a 10 with a bad personality or married to a six with a great personality? Six with a great personality. <laughs> same, same. Like, what is the point of being married to someone who's attractive? I think your personality can make you unattractive, right? Very much so. Would you rather be a butterfly or a bee? Butterfly. Why? Because they're beautiful and they can fly. Bees make honey. It's all right. What? I don't know. I love butterflies, personally. I love when I see like a monarch but butterfly they're flying. They're beautiful and peaceful. I don't like seeing bees fly around me, personally, because... <laughs> and what? butterflies have to go through the process, mm. which you can go on the spiritual side of that. What about bees? I don't know. Bees make honey. Honey is sweet. I don't know. Actually, uh, do bees eat their honey? And mommy, bees help the food. Oh, I, yeah, they, they help the food supply chain in like the world. Yeah. I would want to be a butterfly because I feel like butterflies wear makeup and I like wearing makeup. Next question. <laughs> okay. Would you rather date someone who is funny or someone who is very ambitious and not funny? Hmm. I like ambition. But they're not funny. Because I'm right? funny. I'll make them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny enough for the both of us. Hmm. I think I would do that too. Because like, like picture your life dating somebody who wasn't or married to somebody who wasn't ambitious. I don't want somebody that's just like me. That's more. Yeah. I think I would, you gotta elaborate on your answer though. What? Like why, why wouldn't you want somebody who's just funny? Like why? Cause I'm funny. I can make myself laugh and make them laugh too. That's true. Like if, I, if I'm around people who don't get my sense of humor, and they're not funny, it's, I don't know, we just don't click. I usually don't end up hanging out with those type of people again. But if I'm around you and you're not funny, but I'm funny in that situation, we're probably gonna be friends. <laughs> so I feel like the same would apply if I was dating somebody who was not funny and very ambitious. Because look, 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 look. Like they have to be able to laugh at your that's what I'm saying. Like they have to be able to enjoy. Yeah, like enjoy my jokes too. Especially because I, you know me, I'm always like, yes, she's always. I'm always doing something <laughs> funny. But it's her, y'all. Don't don't let this lady on the camera fool you. This lady is hilarious. My mom is one of the funniest people I know. She always makes me laugh. She's being very good right now. Wait, so I didn't even answer the question. So I would date someone who is very ambitious and not funny, because I got enough funny for the both of us. All right, next question is, would you rather spend the next year exempt for, from all taxes or have one month paid vacation? One hmm. month paid vacation. And pay taxes? Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna pay. Right, that's, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking. That, so I'll take the vacation. Let's go. I already pay taxes, so run me my vacation. Is the IRS paying for it? <laughs> it don't matter. With the Whoever. taxes you already paid. Let's go. <laughs> right. I already pay taxes, so just give me the the free vacation. 
All right. Okay, would you rather spend, I think I already know the answer, I already know what you're gonna choose. Would you rather spend the day at an amusement park or lazing around on the beach? The beach, I don't like amusement parks. I'm not gonna ride anything. Period, and I'm the same way. I refuse to get on roller coasters that are gonna make me pass out. Like, why don't you get on roller coasters? Motion sickness. That too. I just don't believe in, I don't trust them. You don't believe in roller coasters? <laughs> Zero. I will not get on a roller coaster because every time I get on roller coasters that are very extreme, I feel like I'm about to pass out. The last time I got on one, I said, I told God, if I, whenever I get off of this one, never again. And I haven't been on one since. Okay. Ooh, would you rather spend two weeks stuck in a psychiatric hospital or stuck in an airport? Airport. Same. Who wants to be stuck in a psychiatric no, hospital? I don't be there. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. They might. Well, it doesn't say why you're stuck there. Like, are you a nurse? Are you one of the patients? Either way, no thanks. You know, shout out to all the nurses and doctors that work at those places because yeah kudos to you right okay <laughs> would you rather <laughs> would you rather be a part of an arranged marriage or spend your life as a single person I don't want nobody arranging <laughs> anything for me but God <laughs> okay my mommy listen what some arranged marriages end up lasting forever yeah that's true, you got a 50-50 chance. So. Depends on who they're arranging it with. <laughs> that's exactly the issue here. You know what, I'm gonna chuck this one up to, if you say a good prayer, be like, God, please let this person be the one, let this person be everything I need, and a spouse, I'm gonna go with the arranged marriage. I, Cause I don't plan on being single my whole life. Right? Amen. He already has your spouse for you. He's coming. All right. Okay. Would you rather the details of your financial life or your love life be made public? Neither. You have to. That's not. Okay. I already told you how this works. There is no third answer choice. It is yes or no. Yes or no. Okay. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Would you rather have the details of your financial life or your love life, and why? Whichever one you pick. Um, people's love life is very private. Financial is private too, but I'm, my, my, my bedroom is off limits, period. So I don't have to go with the financial. My, I think they're talking about love life, like who you're, well, I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't say what. So you're saying love life? Finances. You're saying your finances be made public. I say finances. Cause isn't your love life already kind of public? People know when you're dating somebody. This one looking right. They can assume they don't know. Yeah. I would say financials. So as long as it's not financials as in you have the routing number to the bank, or yeah. my bank card? Yeah. What is, okay, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna do like two more questions. Okay, would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always 20 minutes early? 20 minutes early. Yeah. Mom, you're you actually always on time for stuff. I mean, always on time. For everything. And if I was late to something, Man, you were on my head about stuff. <laughs> I mean, everything. If it was band, if it was a volleyball game, whatever it was. Mm -mm. She don't play about being late. Not the way to go. I think I'll always wanna be 20 minutes early anyway. And think about it, if you, wait, why do you wanna be early? Because you can get sit where you wanna sit, or you can get, you get to work early and get your breakfast. Meditate, do whatever you need to do, just relax, not be in a rush. Yeah. I I think that's kind of my answer. Like when you get there early, you kinda of scope the place out too. Like if it's somewhere new, 
and you don't know where you're going, you kind of get there, you can look around, whatever. Scope the place out. But if it's like work or something, then yeah, you have more time to get stuff done. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Okay, this is the last question. Would you rather know the history of every object you touched or be able to talk to animals? You can talk to animals without. No. What do you mean? Communicate with <laughs> animals? Yeah, like Dr. Doolittle. Or know the what? The history of every touch? Of every object you touched. Mm, it'd be nice to know the history. Why? So you know somebody's butt has touched this handrail you're touching? Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> interesting. Okay, you know what? You, wait, wait, wait. Now that Corona is going around, knowing the history of everything that you touch, I mean, but you've already touched it though, so. But knowing the history of everything you've touched is actually not a bad idea. Because you can know if somebody with Corona has touched this and immediately wash your hands and like warn other people to clean it or something, or you clean it. Right? But on the other hand, talking to animals. Like imagine if you had a dog. You wouldn't want to talk to your dog? That's creepy. You talk to your animals anyway, but they don't talk back. They like know what their bark means. Like if they're like, Rrr. Well, you kind of know that anyway. You know if they want to go Mama. outside. You know if they're hungry or if it's pain that they're in. It's kind of like a, a, a child when they cry. You know, if it's a hungry cry or a teething cry or constipation okay, cry. Okay, what if it's a raccoon? No, I don't want to talk to a raccoon anyway. This girl, <laughs> Mom, I kid you not, this girl that I was on e-board with when I was in college, she had a pet raccoon. Her name was Emily. She had a pet raccoon. I forgot how she got this raccoon. But it was literally, she treated it, treated it like it was a dog. That's she, a wild animal. She used, mommy, she had it since it was a baby. She used to post pictures of this raccoon on Facebook. She would feed it, she would take it, she would feed it like chicken nuggets and french fries and stuff. Like this was her baby. She loved this little raccoon. No, I, I want no wild animal for a pet. And she would show us videos and he was actually kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> it was a cute raccoon. <laughs> okay, but I think that's the last question. All right, so how'd you like this video long? Oh, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Is it over? Thanks for listening in. Well, anyways guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, invite people to the channel. The more the merrier. The more the merrier, right yes. mama? Follow my daughter. <laughs> So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Peace out.